Hi there, welcome to this session known as how to install WordPress in Vista Control Panel. Vista Control Panel is a open source software uh, makes a role like a control panel for AWS like that or like that hosting platform. So let me see how we can install WordPress by using Vista CP Control Panel. Okay, so I already log into my Vista control panel is having so and so IP address and it it seems to be this interface seems to be like this okay so see I already added some domain names having like this so now I would like to add one domain name known as codecurva.xyz okay there in that uh, I purchased the domain name in Namecheap okay so come to this one here we can see what we need to do is first we need to add this ip number whatever we are having this ip number we need to copy and add in our domain name dns record sensor a recorded the name of add so and so ip name and hit save i did that one okay so let me check it out how we can install this wordpress software for this domain name just copy this one i will check it out whether it was added or not in vista cp just copy paste a new tab there just enter hit enter so there we can see amazon aws.com has been activated for this domain name now we need to install wordpress so come to vista cp select the web web platform <coughs> there just uh, hit this one add new website to my name so here we can see this ip address seems to be like this now what i will do is just i will copy sorry now i will copy this entire domain name like this just copy and paste into vista cp there we can what we need to do is just add this one so now we added this domain name domain name has been successfully created in Vista CP control panel as a web platform. So now we can see, just to hit on this web, there we can see codeguruva.xyz has been activated in our Vista CP control panel. Let we see whether it was activated or not. So after activating this web domain name, then we can see, go to file manager, then we can see, here we can see some file manager files. Select the web, folder just uh, hit enter and here we can see I already added this cgvapr.xyz and now I created we created code curva.xyz just uh, hit enter double click that one and you can open this one so what we need to do is we need to upload all the file WordPress files just to have a look how we can do that one so come into this platform then we can see public underscore html folder is there there only we need to upload our entire files just double click on this public underscore html by default we are having index.html and robots.txt just delete all these files go to and select the delete button just delete this one so now what we need to do is we need to download and uh, upload the wordpress software i already downloaded that wordpress software from wordpress.org so the from that software i would like to upload this wordpress software just uh, upload the winrar file into our control panel so just hit on this open now i am uploading that uh, uh, wordpress software it will take around one to two minutes time to upload that uh, uh, WinRare file just to have a look so I successfully uploaded that WinRare file just select that one and hit extract so why after extracting what is happening is no just select this one and hit extract now you can see like this WordPress 5.6 version is there just copy this path ctrl c and hit on that extract so now that all files has been extracted from zip file to one folder now we need to put all these files in this path only so what i will do is just 
uh, what we have to do what we need to do is just double click on this folder open this folder we need to copy all these file and insert in our path whatever we had so what we need to do is just to move and select the files where we need to move the path and paste the path we already copy copy the path just select a copy paste this path and move then what is happening is all the files will move and come under this section so we are having folder is there wordpress software folder is there and uh, winrare file also be there now what we need to do is we need to delete this folder just uh, delete select that files and delete it on that delete now we can access these wordpress software files whatever we downloaded so come into our domain name known as codecurva.xyz just hit enter now we can see setup file will be there so now we need to create this software installation wordpress software installation just hit on this continue we need to create database name username password host prefix so now come under this section and hit let's go start we doesn't created any database name uh, for this uh, for this wordpress installation so now we need to create a database name in vista control panel let's see how we can do that one just to hit this vista cp tag there we can see db is there nothing but database so this interface seems to be like this in vista control panel so just to hit on this db there we can see some default and other other uh, database has been created now we need to create the database for our cgva control code curva dot xyg just uh, click uh, add database now we can see a database will be there now what i will do is i will add some database name username and password all these details we need to uh, provide at wordpress installation so I, what i will do do is i will do college and username also c o l l e g college and i will generate my password okay okay just generate this one what i will do is first i will save all these details just copy username database name as uh, so and so database name as so and so and password name is same to same no username is uh, database name is uh, uh, admin underscore college and username also seems to be like this and what i will do is just i will generate this password just copy this one okay and hide what i will do is i will save this password also okay later we need to assign all these details after submitting uh, after adding these details in vista cp database just add all these details database admin college has been created successfully and open php my admin so we can access this open php my admin in vista cp also coming to this wordpress software what i will do is i will add this domain name and password all those things i will provide a domain a database name username password all these things to wordpress let's we have a look so just what i will do is i will copy this domain uh, database name paste this one and also username will also have a same to same username and now i will copy and paste password so just what i will do is i will paste this password and database host should be local host prefix should be underscore wp underscore just submit now we can see run the installation just hit on this run so what we need to do is we need to provide the wordpress admin login details before to access the wordpress so see that see there what we i what i am doing is just i'm doing my domain name c o l l eg college dunya now i am doing uh, a domain name uh, wordpress software for this domain so what i will do is i will create name of the admin i will execute another name uh, another password for wordpress admin college at okay strong password has been generated so just i will copy and paste all these things 
WP WordPress admin login details password seems to be like this okay right and after that username seems to be just college and what I will do is just to save this username also okay I will provide my mob, my gmail id then I will hit install wordpress see that here we can see we successfully created wordpress admin login details also just hit save so that what happening is chrome will save my login details come into the login and we can access our website in new tab by using chrome browser here we can see welcome to college dunia means we installed wordpress this is a wordpress default theme 2021 let me check it out whether login details are work, working or not what i will do is just select this college and i provided some password to wp admin also just come into this session and login so now we have to redirect into dashboard wordpress dashboard success so successfully we log in into the admin part whatever we installed in codegurma.xyz so now we are accessing all the files for this uh, website so see this is the front end part and this is the back end part let's uh, check it out uh, how the themes which theme we are activated so you we can see 2021 is the default activity wordpress theme has been activated in our front end page now we can access the admin this admin area and at the same time we can execute our output by using college in your xyz domain name this is the process to uh, install wordpress into vista cell control panel so be aware of everything and keep enjoying my videos thank you